Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. Yeah, yesterday was Sunday. So if yesterday was Sunday, then today is what? Yesterday was Sunday, then today is Monday. Yeah, today is Monday. So if yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, then tomorrow will be Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow is Tuesday. So today is Monday. The month is September. What number? And there's a one and a three next to each other in this order. That makes the number 13 or 13th. So today is Monday, September 13th, and the year is 2021. What season are we in? It's still summer for just over a week. All right. What does the weather look like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows. Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways. When I look outside my windows here at school, I see that it's sunny outside today. Yep, it's a sunny day. It's gonna be warm. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you are a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you know, take a deep breath. <sighs> Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know that one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice. Even if we're upset, even if we're angry. Yeah, we need to take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And then lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation, and that's okay. Your best can look different from someone else's best, and that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right, it's time to go over our communication rights. We're adults and we have rights, and some of those rights, E's 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights, and this is actually a four day week, so it's not gonna be the same, because we do go over them every other week, but usually we do three per day. So today we're gonna do three, and then the rest of the week we're gonna do four. All right, let's start it. I have the right to be treated with respect. You're a person, and you have a right for the people around you to treat you with respect, regardless of your relationship to them. So that's why our classroom rule, the first one we go over every day is be respectful of yourself and others because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. Remember, we respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. And that includes you. So other people need to do the same. All right. 
I have the right to have my communication system and other tools to have them working and to be with people who know how to set up, use, and fix my communication system. Your person and your voice matters no matter how that voice is expressed. So you have a right to have a communication system that works for you and to be around people that know how to set up, use, and fix it. Because without your voice, we won't know all the awesome things that are going on inside your head. All right. I have the right to be a part of my community. You're a person and you have a right to be part of the community of your choosing. Not just your local community, but if that's what you choose as well. Um, but this could be a community of people with the same beliefs or likes. And so you have a right to be a part of your community. The challenge with this one is that uh, for the last year and a half, we have been um, not interacting with our community as much to keep ourselves and the people we care about safe and healthy. Um, so we have to find other ways to exercise this right. Maybe it's Zoom calls, maybe it's video chatting or um, text messages or letters or different activities like that. So we're still able to exercise this right, but keep the people that we care about and ourselves safe and healthy. All right, and lastly, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point, or you can tell somebody. There's a way you're feeling that's not listed. You can tell somebody that as well. Awesome job. All right. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last exactly 18 months. Um, because, of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school, but I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you, and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm sad because I miss you. When I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we will all be back together in class, and we're going to work so hard and have so much fun, and all this time apart will just be a memory. When I think about all of that, that makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. With that, meaning is all done. I am going to do a reading video. We're going to finish chapter one today of our new book. And we are resuming our 10 o'clock Zoom meetings. So I think today we're doing exercise class. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Monday. And I will see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.